Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. Today we are taking a look at iOS 12 Beta 5, and this is actually a pretty big beta update with a few changes that will impact the future of iOS devices. So the first thing is that there's new code for a possible dual SIM iPhone. Uh, the second SIM status was found in the code in this beta, which points to the iPhone 10 Plus maybe having two SIM slots, dual SIM, which may be an international version or maybe all versions uh, that will allow you to put in two SIM cards for if you're traveling or if you have two different carriers that you use. Secondly, there is new HomePod code that kind of confirms that phone calls will be a feature coming shortly uh, to the HomePod. We've had several leaks in iOS and HomePod code that suggest hardware and software features that have been proven accurate, so these are pretty promising. Now in terms of the changes for iOS 12 beta 5, uh, now in the battery health it is no longer a beta. So as Siri was a beta for a very long time, uh, for example, we are seeing the battery health is now out of beta stage, at least it removed the beta text, which makes me think that is pretty much game time for battery health. When you're scanning your face with Face ID in an application, uh, the little cute smiley face Face ID guy is gone. That's not a big change, but kind of sad to see him go. He was fun. When you are unlocking your phone with the passcode, it does not shade the buttons. I actually really like this. It's just a little bit of security. You can still see the dots filling in at the top, but people cannot as easily retrace your steps for your passcode. When you are in the stocks widget in the notification center and you click the more tab, it is now much more condensed and you can fit basically all of your stocks onto the screen, which is nice if you just want to see more of your stocks quickly. And look at Apple approaching that $1 trillion market value. That's pretty insane. When you're in the music applications, there's now a new little splash screen that's telling you you can search for lyrics. The feature isn't new, but the text and the shout out are new, and that's nice to see. As well as when you are searching in Apple Music, not in my library, but in Apple Music, uh, you do now have categories. In the Photos application under Albums, you now have little icons next to all the different categories, and that is nice for just identifying them a little bit easier. There's small other tweaks here and there between gradients and transparencies and control center and different things like that, but that is about it. We have a couple new features with dual SIM as well as making phone calls on the HomePod and then a variety of other smaller tweaks in the OS for the iPhone. But that is about it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And you can follow myself and iDownloadBlog on social media linked below.